Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. This is episode 4 and today we are going to talk about different file formats that you will encounter while working in Revit. Let's begin with RTE format. It's a Revit template file. When you want to create a new project in Revit, the software will prompt you to select a template file. There are a few default template files available in this list, but you can browse for more. These template files have the extension .rte. It's R for Revit, TE for template. Let's select one of the default metric.rte template and create a new project based on that. Template files already come with settings and preloaded library, which gives you a good head start in starting a new project. For example, this template file already contains two levels, four elevations, one door, three windows, and some basic wall types. So I can already start a project using those. In your custom template file, you can choose the settings and libraries that you would like to preload in order to give a good head start in the project that you want to work on. Let's try to go and save this project file. When you save this project file, the file format it is going to save it into is .rbt. So RTE format is your Revit template file, using which you create a project which is saved as RVT file. Let's talk about families. When I in go into insert tab and try to load families into my project from my library, let's say furniture, this, temp this family file is saved as RFA format. So this is R for Revit, FA for family. When I want to create my own new furniture, for example, I will have to create my new family file. Let's try to go into File, New, Family. If you notice the file format here, it is not RFA, it is RFT. This is Revit Family Template. So in order to create a new family file, we'll use one of the templates available to us in the library. So if I want to create a new door, I will go into metric door.rft template here and open it. Template files give you a good head start. For example, in this template, I already have a wall, an opening in the wall, some parameters already loaded. Category of the family is already set to doors. So when I load it into my project, it will be loaded as a door. When I try to save this file, it will be saved as RFA. This is the file that we can now load into our project. So we have RTE file, which is a Revit template file to start a new project. When you save a new project, it will be RVT. Similarly, we have RFT file format, which is a Revit family template. Using this, we will create a new family file, which is RFA. And this is the file that we're going to load it into our project and use that family in the project file. Try this exercise on your screen. Go into new, create a new project using a template file. Try to browse to a new template file and look for the extension it's using. It should be an RTE file format. Using any one of these template files, Try to create a new project. Try saving this project file and look for the extension it's saving into. It should be RVT file format. You may hit pause here and try to follow the steps on the screen and try this exercise out. In the next episode, we're going to talk about project units and how to set them up. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next.